Welcome to Lady in Waiting. This is Kathy Washira and I'm happy to be back and my prayer is that the new year has been doing well for you. Uh, today I'm here with a new topic and I pray that God is going to give you understanding even as I speak about this. Otherwise I want to take this opportunity to welcome all our new viewers and subscribers. Karibu sana. I pray that this channel is going to be a blessing to you. And today I'm talking about watch out for family patterns, even as you say I do. I've used the word as. This is not to stop you, but to tell you even as continually as you're doing the uh, yes I do. Watch out also for family patterns. Some people call it familiar spirits, you know. This is not to scare you off from getting married to someone, okay? Because every family has a pattern, whether negative or positive. There are some family, positively, everyone in that family is educated. Everyone is doing well. Everyone is rich. Everyone, you know. And then there are also families where negative, you find people not educated. Others, uh, there's always an issue, you know. So whatever it is, I'm telling you to watch out for family patterns. The good ones, you continue to proclaim them. And the bad ones, you continue to rebuke those patterns or those spirits because every family has a pattern both negative and positive and that is what you need to deal with that's what i'm telling you even as you're saying yes i do watch out for those family patterns yeah so this is for you to discern and to begin to deal with it in prayer okay declaring contrary to the negative patterns because that is what we are speaking about today the negative patterns in families the bible says in ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 and we know that marriage is war marriage is a battle it's not something that you'll enter and saturn will let you have it lying down he will always find a reason he'll always bring up something there's always an issue here and there and the bible says in ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12 our struggle is not against flesh and blood we don't fight people we don't fight family members we don't fight our brothers, sisters, or their, or their brothers, or their parents, you know, Bible says our struggle or our war is against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms, in the heavens. That is why I'm telling you to watch out for family patterns. Some call it familiar spirit, things that happen, especially if you're a lady, because you're the one who's getting married into this family. That means you need to watch out for the things that happen in that family. And you, you know, by just watching, you know, brothers, uncles, look at the patterns, you know, so that you know what to deal with. And, and negative patterns in families can be different things, can be different things. It could be luck. You can get married to someone who themselves, they are not doing badly, but you look around him, everyone is poor or everyone is living in poverty except him. Or at least maybe he's not living in poverty, but he's trying to get out of it. You know, uh, you can uh, uh, marry, you can be going to get married to someone who, when you listen to his stories, there's a lot of premature death. Maybe parents or brothers or uncles and aunties, people die before their time. You know, there's, there's normal death and there's where you're, you're noticing a pattern. You know, there's a certain age people are not reaching, you know, and it's not the age of old age. It is this prime age, you know. And, and his alcoholism, you realize it's almost like everyone around him, his family, drunkards, you know, uh, or even drugs, yeah. Or also, you can also see a pattern where people don't finish school, you know. Most people, you, they, they, you know, in every country, there is, a, there is an expected standard or an expected, um, an expected uh, level you're supposed to reach of education. And you realize in this family, that expected level is not being reached. Or sickness, you know, people are just sick. You, you, you go here, sick, sick, sick around, you know. Um, there is a lot of divorce, you know, in that family, which is not normal, you know. A lot of separation. Maybe they're not divorced, there's a lot of separation. There is a lot of polygamy in that family. There is a lot of maybe the ladies in that family giving birth out of wedlock. There is a pattern, a negative pattern. And that is what I'm telling you to watch out for. Even as you say, I do. Yes, get married. But watch out so that you start to deal with these things. Because there is no family 
that you're going to get married to that does not have a certain pattern or somewhere where Satan really tries to come in to capture them. You know, that means for you as you're entering there, you're entering into this family, but with very designful, very alert, so that you know which doors to close, you know what not to trigger, you know, you know when to you know when to start praying, you know what to watch out for, you know. Yeah. So uh in other words, you say, as for me, yes, I'm getting into this family, but in prayer, not just making noise, in prayer, say, this pattern ends with me. It is not, this is not going to be part of my legacy. This is not going to be part of my family. You start praying in advance, not just wait for the, after the wedding, start praying in advance. Once you start to know certain things, start praying in advance. Avoid triggers. You cannot, you know, some things are so funny. You cannot be marrying someone who the the pattern in their family is alcoholism. And here you are encouraging him to go, or both of you go to hang out in areas where alcohol is encouraged. When you know those triggers, avoid. Don't encourage him to be in places. Don't encourage each other to be in places. Because then you're continuing. You, it's like you're saying, let, let this door remain open. Let, you know. So, so avoid those kind of things. You know, pray, you know, and, 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 and just walk, pray contrary to this. If it's poverty, attack that spirit of poverty in prayer. Declare we shall not be poor. You know, declare of your family. Say my family, the pattern is going to be different, you know. And, and we've read the word of God. That is what we are, Bible says, that is what we are fighting. So don't fight that drunk alcohol. No, you fight against the spirit of alcoholism, you know. Declare in your marriage, declare upon your children that my children will not be drunkards. My children will not be drunk and premature death is not my portion. Declare long life. Look for the one, look for the word of God. Declare long life. What does the word of God say concerning life? Start praying that over your family so that that spirit of premature death does not, does not easily just come and patch itself over your family. Declare that your children will finish school and work hard towards it. Make sure that your children go to school. Don't be there encouraging children to be funny, you know? And then, this, you know, it's like you're opening the door even wider. You're saying, let this thing continue. So you must work contrary to, to that pattern, you know? Cast out the spirit of sickness. If it is sickness, start praying. Declare good health over your family. You know what Jesus says? By his stripes we are healed. None of us shall be sick. In my family, none will be sick. None will be feeble. Declare good health. Declare long life. You know, pray over your marriage. You say, Me, I will, we will not separate. What does the word of God say about marriage? Declare and pray the word of God over your marriage. Yours, you will not separate. You shall not divorce. Cast out that spirit of polygamy. Listen, even as I have seen... It is so... <laughs> I've seen men, people who loved God, people who have grown up in church, people who have served in God, sorry, served in church. And you think that something like polygamy does not fall, it, it is so strange because they serve, then something happens and they decide to just marry a second wife and you're like, but... And, and that is how the thing ends, you know. So that, that is why if even if your, 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 your fiancé is born again, but you notice that pattern of polygamy, you better start dealing with that spirit because how people fall is just a wonder. It is just a wonder. So as you're saying, yes, I do, deal in prayer with those things. Deal in prayer with those things. Yes, they are going to arise, but they will not prevail. Deal with them in prayer. Don't get into a marriage just blindly and think, oh, me, mine, mine is different. Mine, my, mine, mine is, mine is not like them. Mine. This, this, this thing is running in the family because I told you it's a family. But I'm not talking about just a one incident where out of the family members they just have one drunkard. No, that could just be that one. But when you notice pattern is when they, it is almost in every family in that family, in that home, or in that family name. There, there, there are always people with this, this issue, this issue. It is a pattern in that family. That is what I'm talking about. Deal with it in prayer in advance. Don't wait until you get married when your children are refusing to go to school. That's when you're like, ah, even the other brother, the children refuse. Oh, even the uncle's children. Oh, even my husband didn't finish school. Oh, even this. No. Start dealing with it. Be intentional about what you want to see in your family. You declare, the Bible says you declare a thing. That thing is established. The same way that which declared that in this family nobody will finish school. It's the same way you servant of God declare in my family people will finish school. Declare contrary to what was declared by those who declared those many, many years or centuries ago. 
declare contrary so that your family is to be the curse breaker. Say that this curse or whatever it is you want to call it, this pattern stops with me. It will not, my generation, my generation will not carry this pattern. My generation, my children, my grandchildren, my great-great-grandchildren are not going to follow this pattern. We are following the pattern of Christ Jesus, but you must do it in prayer. I pray that God gives you understanding and discernment. Don't just get married, get excited with all the euphoria of, of, of wedding and everything and forget the battle. Marriage is war and, and, and it is not just the two of you, but it's also the generation that you're bringing after you. So you have to fight for it so that it is different, so that it takes a different pattern. It takes the pattern and the likeness of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you wisdom and may God release a spirit of prayer in you even as you say, I do. God bless you.